This is a very routine surgery that this vet has done hundreds of times. But in this case, the woman went home with her dog and says she found an IV stuck in her puppy's arm and also found her dog with cuts all over her stomach. Let's see. Let's see you shake. Come on. Let's see you shake. Okay. Ruby the Golden Doodle is still learning. But today she's sleepy because she's on pain meds and she's had a rough week. We saw her just like yapping at her arm like she was like chewing on something. When I see the IV, it just makes me so angry that someone could be so careless because this is my child. Then when she looked at her dog's stomach, she saw the scars from something more than just a routine spay. I was in tears. If you cut someone, that's a big deal. You should not be cutting dogs. I didn't think it was a big deal. I was amazed because that's not what the dog looked like when she went home. Veterinarian Kathy Barrett says a pair of bad clippers nicked Ruby when they prepped her for surgery, which is why they threw those clippers away. She says she thinks it may have gotten worse because Ruby started licking her wounds. She had the cone on. She's never taken the cone off. I hung up on her because she kept trying to tell me that it was Ruby's fault, that Ruby was too active, that Ruby wouldn't hold still. You're blaming my dog? for your mistakes. But when it comes to the IV left in the dog's arm, the office says that mistake was 100% their fault. I'm sorry I'm human and yes, mistakes are made. Um, I don't feel that this was a life-threatening mistake. We usually take them off while they're on the table and I don't know why it didn't get taken off. If we left it in, it could honestly do damage. I don't want my money back, I don't. I don't care about my money. I care about other dogs going in and not, hopefully not getting what I got. Despite all of the back and forth between this dog owner and the veterinarian, there is one thing that they both agree on. There should be some sort of checklist for every dog before they leave this office. Dr. Barrett says that's something they will be implementing moving forward to prevent cases like this from happening again. We're live in Ogden. Adam Herbetz, Fox 13 News, Utah.